London, it is a worldwide emblem of urban life, as ubiquitous as the clutched paper cup of latte or the sight of a pedestrian in rapt communication with the screen of a smartphone. It is the plastic bottle of water, poking from a backpack or grasped in a gloved hand, stacked on the refrigerated shelves of supermarkets, or discarded in the gutter. There was a time when skeptical old-timers derided bottled water as little more than a marketer's trick to lure consumers into paying for a liquid that should cost next to nothing. And, equally, there were many people who asked where else they would find water when public drinking fountains had all but disappeared. But as concerns mount over the detritus of plastic products that elude recycling, London's mayor, Sadiq Khan, let it be known on Monday that he wished to redress the balance by providing more drinking fountains and bottle filling stations while reducing the prevalence of single use packaging. London mayors generally seek to establish a distinctive legacy. Apart from a degree of buffoonery, Mr. Khan's predecessor, Boris Johnson, who is now Britain's Foreign Secretary, made a name in transport, introducing the Boris Bus, a distinctive update on the traditional double-decker, and the Boris Bike, a bicycle for hire on the streets of the capital. Mr. Khan, by contrast, seems to be focusing on the environment, introducing measures intended to reduce air pollution and, now, its surfeit of plastic. But it may be some time before the city sprouts new drinking fountains. The mayor, according to a news release from his office, has asked City Hall officers to examine the feasibility of a pilot community water refill scheme or other interventions. And he supports Burris in identifying suitable locations for water fountains and bottle refill stations during the planning in new or redeveloped public spaces, such as town centers, shopping malls, parks, and squares. He is also seeking to persuade businesses to make tap water freely available and has written to the government to discuss the possibility of trying a deposit return program as well as other measures. Globally, plastic bottles have become an environmentalist's nightmare, with some reports suggesting that about half of the billions of bottles in circulation are not recycled. Such is the broader concern about plastic pollutants that a British child care provider, Top's Day Nurseries, said in a blog posting last month that it was banning glitter from its nurseries because it is a microplastic that harms the environment. But plastic bottles are in a different league. Britain, for instance, uses 35 million every day, according to the advocacy group Recycle Now, which lamented that nearly 16 million plastic bottles aren't being put out for recycling. At the same time, though, the health authorities have questioned whether reused plastic bottles are a hazard, since they may harbor bacteria and other contaminants. And there are efforts to introduce an edible water bottle, made of a seaweed extract, that can be eaten when the water has been drunk. Public drinking fountains, by contrast, have dwindled since their introduction in Victorian times.